Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's live stream. So tonight, I'm pretty excited because we are playing Coal Mining Simulator. Now, this game is set to release at some point in Q1 of this year. Now, I'm just on the store now, and unfortunately, they still have not given a release date. However, they gave out some keys, so that leads me to believe that this game should be releasing very, very soon. So this game was developed by Grande Games and published by Game Planet and GDevs.com. Now I'm really excited about this game. It's going to be good, good fun. I'm envisioning Gold Rush mixed with coal mining if, if that makes sense to you i hope that now that's my vision of it hey kevin how you doing mate um but i am not 100 percent certain i am not 100 percent certain there are loads of different things in this game like absolutely insane the things they have in this game okay now apparently sandbox mode all of this will be coming with the game but we'll find out maybe when the game releases maybe i'm 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 really hoping this gives me a lot of content to play through and we can have a solid night on it. If not a full release game, I don't know. I will not know until we actually start playing it. I played about 20 minutes and I was pretty much just getting started. So I'm hoping we shall see how we get on with that. Um, now, I was very fortunate. Thank you, Lurker. I, I applied for a key on Lurker and they gave it to me. And usually with these prologues or, or anything like that, it actually says on the screen prologue, but it doesn't. So this is me, fingers crossed, that we are going to get the chance to play the game properly and create a whole new series on this game. But I cannot confirm that. We will find out together. But this game looks epic. Now, if you joined us for any of the Gold Rush series, you, you'll know how much fun we had with that, with the whole gold mining. Uh, that was a really cool game. Yes, it got a bit stale towards the end. It's going to be interesting to see if this game combats that, because I know a lot of, yes, a lot of people really, really enjoyed Gold Rush and they play it continuously over and over and over and over and over and over again. But me, I like something fresh. I like something new to go along through. Maybe it'll be a slower grind. Maybe it'll be a bit more difficult. I know they have natural disasters coming in it. They're going to have like gas pocket explosions. They're going to have earthquakes. They're going to have cave-ins and all of that. So hopefully things like that just might add that little twist to the game and, and, and just make it last a bit longer. Fingers, fingers crossed. But anyway, so yes, I've done all my talk through. So this is the game I am really looking forward to playing this i did love gold rush so this is going to be nice like i said to you i played about 15 minutes of it just to get a feel for the game and see what it was all about but what we're going to be doing is we are going to be starting a brand new game okay we're going to do it together and we're going to play it and we're going to have a go at it now before i did get when i got the key for this game i did ask the devs some questions about the game um if they had a release date in mind if they have a price of how much the game is going to be and whether they've actually given me a full release game or if this is just a prologue. But unfortunately, I did not get an answer. Maybe I'll get an answer at some point. And if I do get an answer, I will be posting it in my Discord straight away. Because I know a lot of our fans out there, they do love these sort of simulation games. Gold Rush, I know, was a massive, massive hit with us. So hopefully, this game is exactly the same. Now, something I've noticed is different already is... You actually have to open the door, get in and stuff like that, which is. There we go. OK, and then to turn the engine off, you've got to do that. And then we go into that. Now, I love that they put the Grand Day games in the middle of the console. <laughs> That's sort of like an in your face. This is this is our game. And I like that. I like that they're super proud of their game. Um, it's definitely the way it should be, isn't it? It's like be proud, own it. So I do like that. Right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to go and buy some equipment to get us going. So we're going to head on down. And while we're going down, down, I'm going to show you. So you do have a third person view in the thing. As you can see down in the bottom left there, we've got next camera. So there we go. You've got another view, but the car drives itself when you go into this view. Um, but hey ho, 
it looks pretty sweet you can see like all the reflections coming through as you flick around the tv uh, around the car which is really really nice like it's it's they're trying to really keep in with the realism of it all and then you've got some abandoned cars there which is proper no i haven't played a grand day game this is actually my first grand day game and i've got two grand day games in my store on the same day they gave me keys for two of their games at once and i was like yes okay this is epic this is really nice of them so um yes i've got two of their games and uh but i wanted to play this one this is this is me oh shit well i would say it's me but i can't fucking drive to save my life right let's do that and we're going to turn the ignition off because of course we need to uh save fuel as much as we can right we're gonna have to open that because we need to get things so we can carry a capacity of four items in this boot pretty okay yeah so that'll be interesting especially if we go down the lines of trying to grab loads of crap all at once like let's see what we've got in the store here so it looks like there might be gas readers we've got some cans we've got dynamite we've got some kind of motors uh a cork board picture some oil a fishing rod uh a wheel fire alarms some crates some cables and uh, some lights fire extinguishers basic toolbox and then i'm guessing that's a more advanced toolbox so there are a few things in here let's see what we've got here this looks like security compartment okay so all these items aren't locked which tells me that this is probably more of a and a prologue store version of the game i am not entirely certain it looks like we've got a shaker and rocker going on here so that's more gold right would they use i don't think they would use a shaker and a rocker for the coal i don't know i'm i'm not an experienced i may be from wales but but i don't know right anyway so let's get the two bits of kit that we have to that we have to buy so we gotta buy a wheel now this wheel looks huge but then randomly it goes lego size compared to the other one which is really random but hey that's absolutely fine okay right let's close that so that's everything we need from there so that means that there's some really interesting stuff going to be in this game when it releases um so I do believe that we are we are playing the prologue, but I am not 100% certain. Like I said, we will find out at some point. Like one thing that I would have liked was like it maybe actually being a town with people wandering and stuff. I, I know Gold Rush didn't emphasize on that, and their focus was more on the machinery and stuff like that, which is fair enough. Like I I can live with that. Um, but if you want to incorporate a town then you need to kind of have some life in it but but that's just my opinion like let me know what you guys think like do you think they should waste their time on doing things like that or do you think they should just concentrate more on the machinery and the mining oh shit there we go uh let me know in the chat what you think of that um but anyway right let's head on down to the mine let's take a look so while we're going, we can have a look around here. Look. So you can see that they spend a lot of time concentrating on the detail of the vehicles, which is really nice. The environment looks pretty crusty as well. Like I'm lacking the little rocks on the road. What happens if I drive over the rock bit? Okay. So here we are, we're coming into our first mine. Let's have a quick look. Loads of petrol and stuff, loads of containers over there and stuff. I always better if games seems populated with people. Exactly. Especially like single player games. You like having people lingering around, don't you? It's oh, have I gone past? No, I haven't gone past where I need to go. Yeah, I I feel like that as well. okay let's turn the engine off let's get out so let's have a quick look see what we've got going on here so obviously the way it works is 
you put the coal on there when you're in the mine it will come out it will go up go into that and then it comes out by here by the looks of it it will come out of each of them see I didn't realize that coal that coal mining was going to be the same as gold mining I thought coal would be lighter than rock So therefore, it would stay in. Correct me if I'm wrong here. And it's someone who's maybe got a history or, or, or knows their coal mining. But in my eyes, I envision that coal would be lighter than rock. Therefore, the rocks would drop through and the coal would remain in there. I, so how do you extract? But anyway, anyway we'll, we'll figure that out at some point. But in my head, that's the way I... I thought it would be but but hey ho okay right so we've got a digger by the looks of it the digger looks quite basic there's not much detail on it it's pretty minecrafty but maybe that's something that would be changed once the game fully releases sorry if i'm running around and i'm not rushing into the game i want to make sure i get a good look at everything that's going on and try and figure everything out here um Right, let's have a look. Here we go. Absolutely no idea. No, it's fine. I I don't have a foggiest either. So I can't say that I know either. Now, this is the same as uh, Gold Rush. So you just grab the item and then you can drag it around. The only difference is you only have to press it once. You don't have to hold F in order to hold the item. And there we go. So this is our underground truck. This looks pretty decent. It looks like they spent a bit of time. Obviously, they've made it worn and a bit tacky and stuff. But it looks pretty. Looks good. Looks simple. Nice. Okay. So. Let's fix. Let's insert this wheel gun. So we got to go around and click each individual bolt. Which is good, I, I kind of, it adds to that realism, isn't it? You want to try and get as much of an authentic experience as you possibly can. So little things like that are actually quite good. And quite nice that you're actually doing that. But obviously, it's just different, isn't it? Right, can you pick up these trash bags? Nope, you can't pick up these trash bags. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Right, let's jump in here. Okay, lovely. Right, let's go in here. Let's see what we got. Uh, Seatbelts must be worn. Safety flash, I love it. Hashtag coal. Uh, renewable energy, coal file power station. So again, this is uh, pretty basic stuff going on here. We've got a GPS. Look at that switch. Oh. Let's switch you on. Doesn't sound as beefy as maybe what I was expecting at the sound, but then. But I have only got one ear in, so. This is what it looks like from the outside when you're driving it. Right, let's go into the mine then. Let's see what we're looking like. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so this is your mine. Yeah, I'm loving the, the setup here. I'm loving that they've reinforced the entire walls with steel. And then they've got metal cages over bits as well. That's pretty damn cool. So it looks like these are the parking spaces. So you have four parking spaces in here. The park machinery and so forth like that. So this is where you dump the coal. So this will then lead out through to the outside. I'm assuming this here is no power. Oh, I got a fog request. So just, just to start, I got a fog request through. So I'm assuming that this is going to be rigged up to this. Ooh, and look at that. There's different switches to press as well. 
and that looks like power outlet so i'm guessing we're gonna to have to get a cable to connect that to that to be able to work out i don't know we'll figure out we'll come to that a bit later on let's keep wandering around so obviously we've got some some stabilizers going on here we've got a lift that's pretty cool i'd be intrigued to know if you use that lift at some point that would be absolutely awesome if you can go down deeper into the mine that would be pretty damn cool and then let's have a look so that's obviously a ventilation shaft it's just probably a fan that will pump air deeper into the mine uh, just to keep you oxygenated either that or it'll pour out carbon monoxide or same with gases i don't know again i'm i'm speculating on a lot of this but it's, i think my assumptions are pretty spot on okay so we got to clean up so all right, all right let's do this last time i made the mistake of of chucking the barrels in before the thing which then led to not being enough space let's chuck these big fucking things in first shall we there you go that's backed up we'll chuck all the flat stuff in really come on There you go, that got in there. That's better. Um, there we go, that one dropped through finally. I'm trying to keep it neat as I can. No film will get in there. Oh, I gotta put everything in there. See, that was me then trying, trying to do the bloody the same action that happens in that I was do, doing in bloody gold rush, like holding down and get in there. Come on in, all of you. Let's tidy up this crap. Coal miners, eh? You would have them. Right, let's just clear this up and see what we're going. Like, so far, I kind of like it. It's... I know that we haven't even started mining yet. But little things like this, it just kind of adds to the excitement and... The things to do it's not just a monotonous of grinding coal to make money you've got these little side jobs that you can do as well and and stuff like that. i can't like that i like that all right let's see let's keep going We're almost done uh one more du, 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 du. there we go and there we go so you sell that we get a bit of money for it which is nice we Recyclables. Okay, go to the office and accept the task in the mission tab. So this is my shithole office. They had some lovely offices outside, but no, I had to be in here. Let's see what we got on the table here. We got a torch. Spanner's got a head torch. We've got a vegetable spanner. We've got a screwdriver. We've got some locks. We've got a more advanced toolbox. Light. Complain. okay so this is the tablet so this is where your whole life is going to be based you need to go through all of this so obviously we got the missions okay that's the mission that you are doing okay you then got your shop so these are all the vehicles that are going to be available to you so you're going to have a drill rig a loader a front loader face hauler continuous miner that's pretty cool that looks pretty awesome a road header we've got one of them so we'll hopefully get to play with that allows you to extract coal and dig tunnels i'm so excited i can't wait to get stuck into this digging tunnels business and then of course we've got the underground truck which we've got already and then we got a transport vehicle which is pretty cool as well that's pretty nice uh news it just gives you if you want to go through and read the backstories you've got or just some things to read and stuff like that uh, it's all about coal mining so some and stuff contracts these are all the different contracts you can have awesome workers i cannot do workers yet so connect the two generators to power up the conveyor belt right and there we go okay so as i was saying 
You need to connect these conveyor belts. This generator, I'm assuming. Oh. oh, this one. Okay, right, wrong one. I went to the wrong one. <laughs> Oh, crikey. Still on the conveyor belt. That is awesome. Ah, oh, we can't jump on it and go for a ride. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's nice to know. Okay, so now they're saying for me to go to the road header. Now the road header is this bad boy. This is the thing that we've already had one. And as you can see, basically it grinds out. So it will grind through the rock here. Look at that. That is an absolute beast. Okay, and it will grind up there as well. And then it will spit it out the back. And hopefully it will go into the loader, but... I don't know yet. Okay, but anyway, let's, let's uh, find out. Okay, so I'm going to read this because I haven't looked at this yet. Uh, move forward, move back. Mining mode is X. Interact is F. So the only difference there is mining mode. Okay. Let's go have a look. Look at this. Okay, so again... Oh shit, we've got loads of switches and dials in this thing. Maybe power? No? Oh shit. No, this is made by Grande Games, Dave. So what happens if I... Ah, uh, look at that! You are wasting... Oh, my bad. I was wasting coal. Oh, because I need to get the dumper truck closer. Whoops. My bad. My bad. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. I had an option to connect there. Is that what I gotta do? Excellent. There we go. Okay. So basically, you connect the machines. Oh, random. Okay. Interface looks the same. It does look the same, doesn't it? And that's what it's. It's really strange. Okay. How do I move? How do I move? Can I move the thing? How do I move the thing?
Okay, how do I move? Okay. Move arm, move arm. Can I move the arm or is the arm static? Next, next, no, previous, previous. So how do I move the arm? Just keep driving and okay. I can't figure out how to move the mining arm. Which is really annoying. It would be kind of nice to know how to do that. Okay, so that's saying I'm done now, right? So. Alright, let's get out. Okay. So the underground capacity is there. Alright. Uh, press C to disconnect. F. Now it's saying to return the underground and park back towards. Oh! Okay. So look at that. It just looks like a bunch of dinosaur poo. But hey, who am I to judge? But I'm liking this. I think this is actually pretty damn fucking cool. I like that you gotta have a bit of speed up going before you can turn. That's pretty cool as well. Connect. That's button in the underground tuck to raise the trailer. Ooh. And there we go. Hole goes on. Well done. That's pretty slick. Truck the road header pressing C road head. What I don't get that anyone else get that? Okay, I guess I gotta spin around again. Right, let's reverse this back in. Yeah, I should have guessed it. Huh? That so roll back in. Uh, oh, I need to um put the trap back in. I need to put this back on. Oh my days, I'm getting well confused. But this is slick. There's anything. But I do need to figure out how to move that bloody thing. There's me trying to do everything so that... Come on in. Give me that green light. There it is. 
bang, there we go, let's turn the engine off. Uh, C connect. Bang, there we go. We don't need to have the engine running while it's connected. So that can now just be left to it. Trying to save fuel. You want to save fuel as much as you can. I remember that. Some... Oh. I can't touch any of them. The only button I have is this. I'm just going to destroy some more. I like this. This works. Okay, this is nice, simple, and it's actually fun. But in all honesty, I do need to figure out how to raise the header. Because that header is not really doing much for me. Like, I can't really do much. But this is no nope, no button in the cab. It's a right side so you guys can see what's going on. I wonder if you hit like pockets and stuff like that. Ah, there we go. So you gotta hold X. If you press X, it allows you to do that. Okay, so that's how you do it. You've got to press X and then you can move it around. Like that. Whee, hi, mate. But now I seem to be jammed. Because I didn't know that. It's caused a fuck up. Oh, shit. Come on, I need to figure my way out of it. Because I am making a total tick to myself. There you go, that's all I can do, so we'll leave it at that. Okay, so, T, 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 oh, come on, let me out. Oh, I. B, B, B. There we go. Oh man, that's what I've done. I backed myself right into a corner. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, how are you, my friend? So we've only put it to 99%. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. So we're going to disconnect it. Right, let's go dump off these last bits then. It's probably going to be a bit slower. We're going to take this nice and wide. I love the reversing cameras.
Oh wow, it's actually quite hard to control. I can't really do it there, there we go. I can see what I'm bloody well doing there. I love the controls of this, this is awesome. Right, there we go, connector, go back into the cab, press out, do that, I mean, let's watch it go out. Oh, that doesn't look like much, you would think it would look a lot more. But okay, so that's that. Disconnect it, go back into the forward mode. Alright, let's go back up. That contract and leave mine. Okay, so that's uh, bang, bang. That was damn cool. I am way excited to do this. And now I know that I've got to bloody press X to activate the thing. But let's go in here and have a quick look. So, I'm pretty certain. I saw some things that look like bands of coal, but maybe not. No, it doesn't. I'm seeing things. Well, I know now that we need to make sure that we go all the way around, get that nice clean sweep in. Oops. And accept contract and leave mine. Uh, contract. That contract. That contract and leave mine. How do I leave a mine? Maybe here. Ah, there we go. So we come in, we drive in, because obviously we drive in. Where the fuck do we drive in? There's no mine entrance. Where we drove in in the big truck, and it just appears in here. So there's no actual thing. Okay, okay. That's fine. And then we click that and it'll take us up on the left. So it's just loading a different environment, isn't it? Which is kind of cool. Uh, from now on, you'll be able to freely move inside and outside of the mine. If you want to return, you have to click on the mine doors. Okay. So you have to click on the mine door. Oh. Okay, enter the excavator. Ah, oh, here we go. So here's everything coming through. Going up into the hopper. And then it's dumping down there. It looks like... The rock's going out the end. Nothing's coming out the end. Okay. I thought rocks or something would come out at the end or, or something like that, but hey ho. Okay, so it's same for us to jump into the excavator. Excavate mode, okay, back it up. Back it down. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Q and E is back it up and back it down. All right. Hopefully you'll keep that up because otherwise I'm just going to get proper confused. Okay, I'm to turn on the excavator. Ah, there we go. Gather coal with excavator mode. Uh, that should do it. Put the handbrake on. No, actually, let's go a bit closer. That'll do it. Okay, excavator mode. Do E. I transfer the coal into the car. 
Can I reverse the track? Let's see if we can reverse the truck up a little bit and make our lives a bit. Is it just those two machines? Nah, man, we are. No, nope, I'm going to have to try to get it in there. It won't let me reverse the truck to make my life easier. Because that would just be too easy, wouldn't it? Oh, shit. Can I not? Oh, yeah. Just like reversing. And then excavator mode. And then take off excavator mode. Okay, so just do all my controls in reverse. Now I can't see where I'm going. And maybe that's uh do that. Excavator mode. Uh, oh, wrong way. Okay, I got this. No, there's, there's quite a lot of machines around. I did go through all the machines a bit further back into the stream. There we go. Hit that. Hit that. And now I guess open it up. I'm out of excavator mode. I like this. This is wow. This is pretty damn cool, actually. I like this. No worries at all, Kevin. Cheers for coming along, mate. Hope you have a wonderful night, my friend. Go back into drive mode. Reversing back. That, yeah, that I do. Now back into excavator mode and drop it off. Okay, we're gonna spin it around out of excavator mode. Okay, once you start getting the hang of the controls, it actually works really nicely. I right, don't get me wrong, I am. Uh, a total newbie at this. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. But the controls work. The controls actually work. At first, I thought, oh my god, what fucking hell is going on here? But this actually really, really makes sense. I like it. So I'm going to put this back in position. I'll do. I'll switch you off. Let's get out. Let's go have a look at this. So does this mean now we can drive the truck? I wonder if we have to deliver the coal. No, same for me. Return to the mine. Okay, so we're gonna go back into the mine. We're gonna continue doing it. Now, like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this game. I can tell you that right now. Right. It's nice. Obviously, it's it's very, very different to Gold Rush because, of course, you start out with a load of machinery. You don't have to do any of that. I think maybe like starting off with just money and you have to buy the machinery. They don't tell you what machines you have to buy. Would be pretty damn cool. Maybe an option to turn off these. Like all these little cursors. So you've got to do everything by eye rather than Then being told what to do with things and stuff, that would be kind of nice. So there's none of these hints or anything up there. Maybe we can turn that off. Uh, options. Have a look. Uh, I'm going to have a little rep for you guys. Simulation mode. I don't know what that is. Let's see what happens if we do that. No. Okay, so that wasn't it. I don't know what that meant. Okay, uh, see if there's anything there to turn off. 
all the different things. Doesn't seem like that. No, okay. Ah, that's a bit better for you guys though. You can see what's going on a bit more now, can't you? Uh, is this just PC? Unfortunately, yeah. At the minute, it is PC only. Um, maybe if it's, if it does really well, then then they will turn it into a console game as well. Like, I know it took Gold Rush quite a long time before it came out on PC. God, that game didn't come out on PC for years. So who knows, maybe what the future will hold. Maybe these guys will release this onto console. Like, I have tried reaching out to the devs and asking them questions, but unfortunately... Um, Unfortunately, I've not had a response from them in regards to any questions yet, but maybe questions will come later. Answers will come. Okay, we need to tidy this shit show up. Right, let's see if we can... Uh... There's the back wall turn, so maybe now it'll let me drive out. Now let's try and drive forward into the middle. That's about the middle, and now reverse it up. No. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to face forward. Ah! Maybe what I need to do first, actually, is hook it up. So let's do this. I want to try and get back to the beginning. Oh, shit. No, okay, I need to get that before I do any of this. So it looks like I need to come over here. There we go. We're at the shit show now. I can actually see I'm back at the beginning. I can tidy up the mess I made. <laughs> but I do need to move my truck forward. The truck was in the way. That's, uh, let's move you forward a minute and get this uh, tidied up a bit. That's better. Now I can reverse that a little bit more. I need to reverse more to get everything lined up. But that. Uh, so. Let's see where. Oh, yeah. There we go. That'll do. Okay, I, I wonder what will happen once we can get workers. Because you can get workers eventually in this game. So, will they allow me, will those guys be able to do all the shit that I'm really struggling with? So let's get this in position. There we go. Uh, connect it up. Turn it off. here we go right we're back into the coal mine end i'm loving it this is beautiful i really do like this now i can tidy up my mess i got a better view there we go that's a bit better isn't it
I love it. Absolutely loving it. This is awesome. This is so damn cool. And now we can actually see what we're doing. So let's. Uh... I love it. Absolutely awesome. Like, it, it's simple, but yeah, it's actually a really, really enjoyable little game. Uh, it's very different to Gold Rush. Like, which I suppose is something you can expect. Now, I do want to try something else out. Let's see. We can literally go where no man has gone before. We can go in any direction we please. Hey, hey Mike, how are you, my friend? Uh, what is this? So this is called Coal Mine Simulator. And you get to be a coal miner, which is, well, pretty damn cool. Oh, there we go. We're at 99%, so we're going to back out of here now. But you don't have to go in straight lines. It sounds silly, but something as simple as that. Right, let's turn this. Right, we're at 100% there, so... But we can literally go where we want. How we want, when we want. We are not restricted in the slightest. I guess, like, look at this massive cabin we've just created. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, right, so. Uh, yeah, I don't want to create the machines up. Let's turn them off for a minute. Better idle. Yeah, we're full, so that's going to empty this slot out. You oh, disconnect. <laughs> I forgot to disconnect that. But I like it. There's, there's something about this, it's just making me smile. Like, I love that the rocks are moving. Something as simple as that, as well, just adds to it. Just gives you that bit more of a, that authentic feeling when you're playing it, which is really, really nice. We haven't had any fuel issues yet. There we go, so now that's empty up. Got that going on. That looked like I dumped a load in the ground. There we go. Disconnect it. Let's pop. Oh. That down. And let's go. It's like I've got a boy from the valley who has to play being a coal mine. Damn straight. What's going on? Connect. Disconnect. See? I go, oh, i got to be connected. Could use that? Yes. And now I disconnect. And now I can drive. Yeah, baby. There we go. We are now coal mining. Now, it says go into management view. I'm worried about going into management view. I kind of want to... No, we'll, we'll put the truck back. Or at least reverse it around so it's ready to go. Mate, I... And that's why... I... What is it? Hold them. Um... Coal town, isn't it? I actually live in coal town. There's an old coal mine here, which is pretty damn cool. So yeah, damn sure I gotta do that. Okay, right, we don't need that anymore. Let's go have a look. So obviously we came in, we went down straight, and then we started to turn, and we wasn't getting restricted. 
So that was me thinking, oh, we're probably going to have to drill, do it all in straight lines and just keep going straight. But no, you can actually make up your own paths. Now, got to be careful, of course, because you can get collapses, having collapses. So you've got to be super, super careful with that. But it's pretty damn cool that you are not restricted to where you want to go. Now, I don't know. Nope, there's no map in here, so we can't see what's going on here. Ah, I say a nap. Okay. Okay, so that, there is restrictions. <laughs> okay, um, press on the Doug Rock to see options. Ah, place a crossroad. Oh, look at that. Okay, so. High tunnel, place low tunnel, place mine phone, fix light, tunnel high. Tunnel's already placed. Okay. So, what we want to do is we need to get over here. If you look, so like in Bloody Hell, Gold Rush. You can go to different locations and each location is going to give you a different amount of resources. Okay, for instance, if I was to go this way over here, you can see here that we've got a high amount of hard coal. But a low amount of arthracite. And a lower amount of shunite. Shugnite? Shunganite. I, I can't even bloody pronounce it. But that is pretty cool this here has got a high amount of alphacite down here so you obviously pick where you want to go but the way you're going to go the way you want to go all comes down to with what contract you take because of course some contracts are going to demand coal some are going to require something else so if i go in missions Oh, okay, no. Uh, contracts, here we go. So here we go. Hard coal, hard coal, whole coal, shogunite, shugnite. Yeah. So that's complete. And that shogunite giving us some money. Now we've got that. So we could sell that. 300. We could potentially do that. Do that. Hard coal. Got that. Oh, they're going to be out the front waiting for me to fill it up, aren't they? And that's going to net me 30 grand. So, what we do, we're going to keep going forward, I think, actually, from what I could. Oh, look at that. It's done that for me. It's tidied it up and got it ready for me. So this is good because now if I go right, obviously it was going to take me to one resource. If I go left, it's going to take me to another resource. But if I go dead on, it's going to take me to coal. So I want to go dead on here and keep going dead on. And I love that once you've cleared the section, you can then decide what you're going to put in here. This is pretty, pretty damn elaborate to be fair. You've got to give it a lot of credit. That is pretty damn cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this into place. Now, I can't remember. Where it was. Was right coal? No, we'll go straight on for a minute. That's fine. So we're going to get lined up. Um... That'll do. Turn that on so we can connect it up. Now let's get that truck in place. This is... I, I'm enjoying this. This is actually a really enjoyable game. Okay, so... On, I'm going to go into this mode. 
Take the handbrake off and let's reverse it into position. There we go, connected that. Now we can turn the ignition off. I keep doing that. Oh shit, I shouldn't be doing that. Good thing there's no damage in it, eh? Okay, never run in front of a rock crusher. That is just asking for trouble. So what I'm doing, you're basically using the mouse. You use the mouse to do the whole uh, move, move the arm, and then the direction key to move the make sure I keep it balanced this time, so I don't go getting stuck in anything. We do it like this now, right? Yeah. The destruction is damn cool. You got a little bit there in front of me looks different. Oh, it's probably just a light actually. Got this. There we go, that's all we can do. Do that, let's turn that down a little bit. Let's go empty up again. And then we're probably going to have to go out and load up the next truck with the coal that we need. So let's go ahead and do that now then. Oh, I need to disconnect it. There we go. I forgot about that. It's just finding that method. It's just finding, remembering what you need to do in what order. If you forget what you've got to do in that order, then you're just going to get screwed. But yeah. but I really love it. I love that you are literally left to your own devices with it. I don't know whether... You can do it without the tutorial. There we go. Set up. Go. Oh. Ah, let's watch that go on. There we go. Uh, interact with it again. Then I disconnect. Let's go get lined up again for the next haul. I can't really see in that view with this track. Hopefully the newer track will be a bit easier to see out of in first person. Like if you could see through your mirrors, I think it would be very, very different. But unfortunately you can't see through the mirrors. You're... And there's no reversing cameras. But hey ho. That I do for now. Right, let's switch you off. Right, let's go up top and let's sort out this coal that we've got lined up. We've got a buyer already set up to do it. We've got to sell 300 to make 30,000. So, 
Let's do that now. But no, I like it. I think this is pretty, pretty damn cool. I love what you have to do in this game. Uh, and I could actually imagine myself spending actually quite a long time playing this game because it's just a lot of fun. It's like we've only been playing it for an hour. I'm pretty, pretty hurt, but I know what I'm doing. And there we go. There's all our coal coming out. And go through into the hopper. This is obviously the truck that we've now got to fill up. So let's wait here till we got this. And we got a lot of hard coal going on here. We've got what? 795 kilograms of hard coal, and we need 300 kilograms in order to complete this contract. So we should be able to complete this contract now. Let's get in here and let's load up the truck. So let's get in position. That I do. Um, there we go. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. I'm going to swing around, press X, and now go backwards. This in there. Oh, press X. Now open the thing. And load up the thing. It looks like there's some in there, doesn't it? Oh well, okay. Oh wow, now look at that pile. That is a big pile of coal. Now that is one big pile of shit. That axe, right, let's move out of the way so we can... Up to there. Oh, wrong way. There we go, back into excavator mode. Ah, I wish I knew how much was in that. Is there a... How do we tell how much was in that? I can't see do that. Yeah, I don't know how much is in there. That's random. Last time it was giving me like a progress bar. But for some reason it doesn't want to give me a progress bar this time. And it really doesn't look like anything's coming out. It looks a bit of a... What's going on there? Let's see what happens now. That looked like I got some. That looked like I got some that time, so that could be it now. I think that was the problem. I just wasn't getting. Right, let's go a bit more forward so we're right and uh, see if that's the issue. Okay, there we go. So now it's saying 90 out of 300. Okay, we're, we're there now. We we can see it now. So on the left there, you can see contracts. Top left of my screen. Basically, it's saying how much I have put in. Uh, 
Okay. That looks a bit better. Okay, we got the hangers now. So now, let's see how many scoops it's going to take us to do 300 kilograms. There you go, so it's gone up now. Now we know what we're doing, we can see it now. I was a bit confused, I was like, what, what's going on? It's not really showing me much, is it? But this does work, I like it. I love the way this game is set up. Like I said though, I wish you started off with less. Sort of thing, I don't know, you... You go from a, a total beginner newbie, never done any of this in your life, to kind of like a dozen gold rush, because of course you start off with a hand pan. Like, I don't know how you're meant to start off with coal mining. Um, but that would be interesting to see what. what you could do with that if you could start off with like nothing and you're a hand miner with a pick and a horse or something like just and then obviously you start making money like that and then it goes from there does that make sense i think that would probably would be a really cool way of doing this game hopefully one more but, um, yeah, it would be interesting. Maybe that's something they didn't want to do or, or something. I don't know. But, uh, but I think it would have been really cool if they added those little extras in. Just so you're not into big machinery straight off. And then over time you buy different machinery and... And there we go, contract completed. Uh, check the tablet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get into position, ready to grab our next scoop. Yeah, rags to riches and some. Exactly. Like, it's always nice to start off with, with nothing, really. Like, it just adds to the environment, or you... You hire stuff or something. You start off as a contract, um, a contractor for another mine owner, and you build up some money, and then eventually you start buying your own kit, and and then eventually you get to a position where you can buy your own mine, or you can lease your own mine, and and then once you've leased your own mine, it, it, it kind of progresses up. Just a bit more of a, a progressive stage. Is it the minute now, right? Obviously, you can buy machines. So, I'll show you the machines you can buy again. But like in here, so you've got what? A rig drill. You've got all of these items that you can buy. Okay. But at the same time, it's like, well, what's the point? You've already given me one of these. You've given me a road header. You've given me an underground truck, and that's all I need. Oh, and, and the, obviously the digger and stuff like that. But they're the only items I need to make money. And it's like, well, why would I want to buy machinery? Unless this is not the final release, and on the final release it will be different, where you have to have to do all of that. I, I really don't know. Uh, okay, so... 350 for 36,000. I do have enough for that. Got enough for that as well. Now, how much are we going to give? 76,000 for that. I'm going to really accept that, I reckon. Yeah, I think I'll 
I'll go with this. Because we got Sugar Knight, Shug Knight, Shug Knight, Shug Knight, I've Shug And that I guess 76. So we may as well take that. Oh, I haven't got enough of it. Oh my God's sake. Do we need more? We need more Shug Knight. Okay, let's keep going then. Let's keep going. Let's turn this machine on first. We got this going so we can connect. And let's keep going. We almost got that in the perfect place in actually. Got that. There we go, that's connected up. We almost done it again then. Almost tried to cut between the machine. Okay. Let's go into a view where we can see what's going on. Anything going on? Yeah, there's got a thing there. And maybe expand that a wee bit more. Hopefully one more run. Well, um, yeah, I see that shed night. But I'm loving this. This is so much fun, guys. If you haven't played this game, you guys are in for a treat when this releases. If you love Gold Rush, I would say that this is a nice progressive step into the next level of the game. It's it's just different, unique, and it's entirely different. Like I've, I've been watching for this game to come out for a little while now, and fact that it's finally here just makes me happy but do let me know what you think of this game is this a game that's going to be up on your radar is this going to be a game that you're going to buy is this your sort of game or you're thinking nah, do you know what this isn't me and uh, I think I'll lay it out would you like to see more of this game we're going to do like a, a career mode in this. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Your thoughts and opinions. Because of course, if you don't want to see more of this, then we won't do more of it. No matter how much I enjoy it. I'll take the hit and we'll play a different game. Well, I like it. I think it's just something about it. It's just so relaxing. It's just so chilled out. And I can see why they put their tags as relax. Because it is such a relaxing game. Like, it's so chilled. No stress. No pressure. Obviously, we're going to have a... I wonder if they're going to push us to have a disaster, a disaster at some point. So we actually... Something does go wrong. Uh... But, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. And there we go. We got enough Shug Knight, right? That's good. We've now got enough Shug Knight to, to see us through this, uh, through this deal. We've now got 150 kilograms. And we need... 125 so this is perfect the fuel lasts quite a while on this as well it's nice because i know when we're playing like when we're playing gold rush we go through fuel quite damn quickly all right we'll line this up quickly Uh, 
I do. Alright, let's turn that off. Get out of here. Okay, let's go do the shag now. I'm probably pronouncing it 100% wrong, but, but hey ho. I don't know here. Let's get ourselves some money. Right, here it all comes through. And obviously the logo on there has changed now to fix that. So now what should happen now is I'm assuming Oh, there we go, the Shanghai does come out, but it comes out of a different one. Shanghai comes out over here. Spin that around, take it off thing, let's reverse that, and let's load this bad boy up. Twenty kilos, so all right, let's go. Let's throw this out, but I like this. It's a really interesting and quite enjoyable game, to be honest with you. If you have, right? I think I actually grabbed Tangle. There we go. Bang, I did. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way there, but but no, it's enjoyable, it's relaxing, it's fun. You can have music while you're playing it as well. Like unfortunately when I'm streaming I can't have the music on just for risk of copyright infractions, but um but you can have music on if you want to have music on and stuff like that. There's no stress with it. It's quite nice music, it's quite relaxing music again. Like I think they've really Owned in on making this game as relaxing as they possibly can. Right, they've really gone for that relaxing feel game, have a bit of fun, make a bit of money. Oh. Almost there, 90. So again, you can see that I'm using the contracts up in the top left of the screen to tell me how much I've got and how much more I need. And the controls are pretty damn simple. I wish like, do you know when you tip out? I wish it would come out. Just to add that little bit more to it. But hey, I can. It's it's not a necessity. It would have been obviously quite nice. Um, but hey, we can get through it. We can deal with it. Right, let's start. Keep this going then. Contract complete. That's what I wanted. I guess I'll put this back in place, shall we? There we go. That'll just help me get it lined up. There we go. There we go, that'll do. Right. 
head back down the mine to set our tablet and let's get this sold and then we will have enough money to buy the drill rig which is the next mission so we're just continuing through the missions at the minute just seeing where it takes us because if, if it is the prologue that means that a lot of those things that we said like about getting rid of all of these little markers all over the place and starting off with nothing maybe that's something that is part of the full release of the game but as far as I'm aware, there we go. Now with such a cash injection, we are ready to purchase a new machine. Drill rig. Go to the office and then purchase a drill rig using the tablet. So here we go. This is what we're after. We're after a drill rig. Allows you to insert dynamite. Oh, baby. There we go. You're not going to say to buy a load off. Sixty-seven. Oh, just enough. You also need to buy a secured go outside and drive to the warehouse. Have I got enough money for that? You think I should get another cash injection before I do that? I call six hundred. That'll be all of my coal. What, have I got anything else here that I can get rid of quickly? Nah, nothing. I haven't got enough of anything. No shed night. My coal. 250. So let's get rid of that. We'll go there with 36,000. So what we're going to do. Got the mission. Here we go. These are our bad boys. Look at that. There's my dynamite inserter. So that basically that will drill holes into the rock and allow us to insert dynamite. And then once we've blown the shit out of everything, we'll be able to load that up with using that. That's pretty damn cool. Okay, so we need a £10,000 to buy the security compartment. Once we've completed this load up, we'll have to come back down the mine to, to complete the mission. But then we'll be able to go and load up on that. So we, we've done all right. We've actually done quite well here. Sorry, just having a quick drink. Coming in cold, how you come? See what would be cool if maybe everything dropped, but they they done almost like silo bins. So like they had a concrete line through here in between each compartment. And then when you do it, obviously it just keeps filling up and filling up. And then if you overfill it, it starts overflowing and then you get contaminated product. Like that would have been a really, really cool thing. And obviously it adds to the authenticity because then this always remains here. So every time you come out, you're going to have all your, your resources lined out so you can see what you've got. Like obviously we can see what we got there below the map on the right side. But like actually being able to visually see what you've got, that would kind of just add to... That authenticity, instead of every time you come out, the resource that you've chosen is going to be coming out of here, and then you're going to scoop it up. No, let's chuck some, some, some separators, so it becomes like a silo. I, I'm probably saying it, I don't think it is a silo, what it's called. Um, but yeah, just chuck some cockery berries down the middle. And then all the resources pop out. And every time you come out, you can see exactly what you got. And then it could add to that little disaster thing. Like filling it up too much. If it goes over 100%, it 
then it's going to spill over into one of the resources and contaminate it and then that resource becomes useless it would just be like wow that's 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 pretty damn cool that'll be a nice little addition to the game right anyway we have a job to do There we go. That needs to go higher. There we go. I might as well jump in there, there we go, that'll do. Alright, let's dump all this coal off. I think I'm getting used to this now. Bang. But no, I, I do love it. You know, I do love this game. But I'm thinking about it, I, I don't understand why they didn't do that separate compartment business. I, it doesn't make sense to me. You would think they would be straight on that, wouldn't you? And like the, the fact that the bucket as well is always full, it's it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't come out. <laughs> Max. Oh look at that, I didn't realise I've never noticed that. Oh, I know now, I've just got to take a load more scoops. How much does that give me as a max? Right, okay. I've never noticed that. It tells you when you've reached max and stuff like that. But obviously you've got to be careful because you might give them a bit extra than what they need and and then obviously you're losing a better product so okay 75 percent this time not as much as last time maybe Do it. I might have to do one more scrub, but we'll find out in a second. Perfect. There we go. Alright, let's line this up again. There we go. Push that off, get out, don't need to be in there anymore. Alright, let's run back down, finish this contract, go and get what we need to do. So like, we'll blow shit up, we'll have a go at this blowing up business. Once we've had a go at the blowing up business, what we'll do then is we'll, we'll save it for next time I reckon. And we'll continue on and... And go from there. But if you only if you guys want to see more of this, so do let me know if you want to see more of this. So now I go into contract. 
complete that and there we go we got 42 grand to go and play with that's perfect right jump in the truck let's head back into the shop go buy our uh, security cabinet and some dynamite and let's come back and blow some shit up shall we Sorry, I'm just trying to do things one-handed at the moment, just trying to have a bit of my puffer. I wonder if eventually we'll be able to clean all this up. And stuff like that. Maybe that's something that will come a bit later. Because it looks like there's some stuff that goes on in there. So maybe that's... Uh, Something for the future, I, I'm not certain. Alright, uh, let's go. Let's go back. Buy these parts that we need. I love that the GPS is on the road. <laughs> it's like a big ass arrow. But we are making money quite easy, aren't we? Which means that we will have enough money. So I, I'm actually intrigued how they're going to keep this going. Ah, uh, my fuel's alright at the minute. I don't need fuel at the sack. Maybe, I don't know. There we go. Return to the mine and enter the rig. Don't I need to buy some dynamite? Okay, obviously not. Right then, let's go back then. We're going back to the mine. We've got our security compartment, so job's a winner. That's what we needed for the dynamite. Now we'll head back and hopefully get to blow some shit up. I hope it doesn't send me straight back to the shop. But we'll see. And I suppose it's nice to have a bit, that little bit of disposable income. In case we have any breakdowns or we need more fuel or something like that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to park the car here. Park the car here. There we go, got to do. Right. Let's head down to the mine. Get this done. Turn to the mine and to the drill rig. Let's do that. A bit of my puffer while we're. Okay, let's drill this shit. Okay. Uh, reset drill position. Or in drill. Or out. Ah. Okay. Okay. Right, I think we got it. If I can figure out how to turn it off, there we go.
to do it in this bit over here. Out of the way, otherwise I'm going to have to move my machine. Okay. So. Okay, so there we go. Uh, pull in gel. Bang. And then reset gel. Okay, now how do I do the next drill? Switch drills, Q. How do I have to interrupt? Oh, disconnect it. Can I connect? No. Right. Okay. Right, guys. I'm really sorry. My kid has just woken up. I'm going to have to go up and deal with that, unfortunately. I'm really, really sorry. So I'm going to call it here. And then next time we play this, which will be next Tuesday, we'll blow some shit up. And we're going to blow some rock up. Um, but thank you, everybody, for coming to Joy Be this evening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please do hit that like button of course get involved in the chat make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for everything um thank you everybody for coming to join ultimately i really enjoyed this it's such a cool little game actually really can't wait to, to see where it goes or the future for this game it's going to be absolutely amazing but until next time ladies and gents i hope you have a wonderful night day morning whatever time it is in the world i'll be back on thursday but until then bye for now